Does God always answer your prayers? Hi kids! This is Auntie Mila, and I have a Christmas story for you. Psalm 30 verse 10 says, Hear me, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. That's exactly what we need from God, His mercy. That's what we need. It was one week before Christmas, and Mike lay on his cot, and he was kind of angry. He was looking out the window, and it wasn't time to go to bed yet, but that was his quiet place. He could get away from everyone and just lie on his bed and think, and he was looking out over the night sky, looking at the stars, and he was angry. He said, people say there is a God. Well, there isn't. I know there is no God, and I know he doesn't answer our prayers. And he was looking, he was just mad. He said, I'm not going to pray. They say I should, but I'm not. And he lay there and think, was thinking, you see, Mike was 12 years old, and he had lost his mom and dad. They were both killed in a bad car accident, and he didn't have any relatives. He didn't have any aunties or uncles, and so he was put in the shelter. This was a long time ago. This is how they did it a long time ago. And people would come to the shelter, and they would look the boys over and say, oh, yes, I'd like to adopt this boy or this boy. But they always passed Mike up because he was bigger and older. And he said, I pray for our mom and dad and God doesn't answer my prayer. And he lay there and he was thinking and thinking. All of a sudden, he heard his name. Mike! Mikey! Mike! He thought, oh, that's Jamie. Jamie was five years old and he loved Mike. Hi. He thought Mike was his big brother. He wasn't, but he thought he was. And Jamie came running and he says, Mike, are you in bed? Are you going to sleep? He said, no, kid, I'm just lying here and, and thinking. He said, guess what, Mike? It's going to be Christmas. In one week, I'm so excited. And he said, and I've been praying. I've asked God for a mommy and a daddy. And Mike thought, in his head, he thought, there is no God. But he didn't want to discourage little Jamie. So he said, that's great. That's great. That's nice. Yeah, Christmas is coming. That's going to be fun. And he visited because he thought Jamie was so cute. They kind of had a bond between the two of them. There were lots of boys there, but they had a little bond. And Mike was always looking out for little Jamie. And he didn't want to disappoint him or make him sad. So he just went along with it. Yeah, that's a good idea. But in his heart, he was thinking, he doesn't know that God doesn't answer prayer. You can't pray and ask God for things and God hears. That's what Mike was thinking. And so they, Jamie was jumping on his bed and saying, Oh, I'm so excited. Christmas is coming. And then they'll give us some candy and they'll be singing and this and that. And because the people that were in charge of the uh, shelter tried to make Christmas really nice for the kids that were there. They would have a program and, and treats and candy and every child would get a toy, a present. And so Mike was trying to uh, pamper little Jamie. Well, the next day at breakfast, uh, Mike was in the cafeteria and he was eating his breakfast. And then all of a sudden, here came the matron, the lady of the, of the shelter. She came and she had a man and a woman with her. And she was walking down the cafeteria and he thought, oh, probably some government people. They come by and check this place out. And he was eating and eating and eating. All of a sudden, they stood right beside Mike. And Mike looked, and the matron said, Mike, this is Sam Johnson and his wife, Mrs. Johnson. And, and he quickly wiped his mouth because he had been eating, and, and he said, oh, hi. And they said, 
how are you? They said, we don't mean to interrupt your breakfast. We just wanted to meet you. And he said, oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. And he was very nice. And they said, well, we'll let you finish your breakfast. And so they left. I thought, I don't know who those people are. And he finished his breakfast, he ate it down. Then he had to go to school because they, they had school for the boys. Then the next day, the matron called him to the office. And he came in and he sat down. And she says, you know the couple that were here yesterday that you met at breakfast, the Johnsons? He said, yeah. He said, well, they are really impressed with you and they would really like to adopt you. And Mike said, what? Adopt me? And she says, yes, they're coming back this afternoon and they want to visit with you. And he got up and he ran to his room and he fell on his bed because he was so emotional. He, he just didn't know how to control his emotions. And he was crying and he thought, adopt me? Then I'd have to leave Jamie and everything. And he was thinking... Well, that afternoon, he, the matron called him back to the office again. And the Johnsons were there, and he, she introduced them again, and they visited, they asked him questions about school, and this and that, and they had a nice visit. And then they said, we would like to adopt you. We want to be your mom and dad. And Mike looked, and he just didn't know what to say. And then he thought of little Jamie, and he thought, remembered how Jamie prayed every night that he could get a mom and dad for Christmas. And he said, well, there's a little boy by the name of Jamie. I think you'd rather have him than me because he prays every night for a mom and a dad. And he is a very sweet little boy. And then Mike just got up and ran out because he knew he had just passed by a home, a mom and a dad for himself. And he had given them to Jamie. And he ran to his room and, and he was just so upset. He didn't know what to do, but he didn't know how he could leave little Jamie. And Jamie was praying for a mom and dad. Well, that evening, the matron came to uh, Mike's room and said, Mike, I think you should reconsider. They really want to adopt you. And he said, no, they can have Jamie. Jamie is a little boy and he's really cute and he says, I'm older, I'm 12 and Jamie really wants a mom and dad. And the matron said, oh. And then two days later, it was just a few days before Christmas, the matron called Mike down to the office again. And there were the Johnsons. And he thought, oh, here are these people that want to adopt me. And they were sitting there and they were talking to him and they said, tell us about Jamie. So they said, oh, he's really a cute little boy and he prays every night for a mom and dad. He really wants a mom and dad. And they said, well, we've decided that we want to adopt you and Jamie. He said, what? They said, yes. Could you go get Jamie for us? He said, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And he jumped up and he ran. And he didn't know if he should cry or laugh. He was so happy. He ran to Jamie and said, Graham, Jamie, Jamie, come, come. And then he couldn't believe what came out of his mouth. He said, God has answered your prayer. And he grabbed Jamie by the hand and he went running down. And Jamie said, did you find a mommy and a daddy for us? He says, God found a mommy and daddy for us. And he went running in and he was just out of breath. He said, this is Jamie. And Mr. and Mrs. Johnson looked at Mike and Jamie and they said, oh, you make a really nice brother pair. They said, well, get your stuff. Let's go home. And they ran and they, Mike helped um, Jamie packed up his things. He didn't have too many things. And Mike packed up his few little clothes he had. And he went running out. And then Mr. and Mrs. Johnson waved goodbye to the matron. 
and Mike and Jamie turned around and waved goodbye to the matron and all their friends at the shelter. They went and they got them in a nice car, put them in the back seat, put their seat belts on, and off they went. What kind of house is this going to be? And they drove and drove and drove and drove for a long time. And then they finally drove up to a very nice house. And the car stopped. And the boys unbuckled their seatbelt and jumped out. And they said, this is your new home. And they looked and said, oh, it's beautiful. And Mike says, come on, Jamie, let's go. And the mom and dad walked in and, and unlocked the door and showed them their new house and showed them their bedrooms. Jamie, this is your bedroom. And Mike, this is your bedroom. And they were so excited. And then they saw the Christmas tree in the living room. It was so pretty. It was decorated. And under the tree were some presents, some really pretty presents, some big ones and some little ones. And they said, what are those? And they said, those are presents, but you have to wait till Christmas. Well, Christmas came and Jamie and Mike got some nice toys and some nice clothes, some nice presents. But you know what their biggest present was? Yes, a mommy and a And they had such a happy Christmas. And Christmas night, when Mike was lying in bed, he was looking out at the stars again, he thought, I think that there is a God. And he said, God, I'm sorry, I doubted you. And he looked in the sky and said, I want to be your son. I want to belong to you. Thank you for a mom and a dad and a nice home for Christmas. Isn't that sweet? Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you so much for giving Mike and Jamie, a beautiful home and a beautiful mommy and a daddy for Christmas. Lord, you gather the solitary into families. You're so good. We love you with all of our hearts. For Jesus' sake, amen.